they fought Bill in some ways. And they spanned him in the parameters of free speech. You know, the greatest right that any nation can afford to people is the right to be left alone. And often that statement is a double on time because free speech or the First Amendment often finds itself intertwined in, in privacy litigation as well. But it doesn't matter. Basically, unless people are violating the law, what they want is to be left alone. What they do in the privacy of their own business, their business. And I think the majority of Americans feel that way. But uh, our government doesn't necessarily feel that way. <laughs> We've had free speech for so long that it's lost its value. Thirty years ago, Janet Shoplin once sang the lyrics, Freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose. It's that sentiment has as much meaning today as it has when Janet sang those lyrics. Free speech is not the freedom for the thought you love. It's the freedom for the thought you hate the most. Yeah, yeah. You can stand up on a stage alongside someone and they say to you things that make your blood boil. But in the end, if you can say, I will defend his right to say it until my death. You know, that's what. He 
was going to ask to define its sentence. Because you can't. It's like the concept of sin. What might be to one is not to another. And it's best left in the minds of man. Douglas was the one justice that when they started getting pornographic films in the 60s at the Supreme Court to rule on, they built a screening room so the justices could go on and watch it. So Douglas would never go. And I used to complain. And he said, when I want to go, I know I'm going to see it. So he was a free spirit. Thank you.